welcome to one of the noisier grounds in English football. It's not the biggest, but the supporters are so passionate. Selhurst Park, the home of Crystal Palace Football Club, and Alan Smith and I, Martin Tyler, will be trying to keep our voices above the din so that you can hear our commentary. Coming up now, Crystal Palace, and they play Bournemouth. This one I know Alan's keeping an eye on here. Two in his previous match. A clear danger man for the opposition. Number seven, Maximilian Meyer. Number 17, Christian Benteke. And number 11, Wilfred Zaha. Here's the Crystal Palace team. It's a real group mentality in this lineup about pressing the opposition into making mistakes and cashing in on it straight away. Well, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of motivation. It's easy to drop off, and when you do drop off that really aggressive closing down, that's when it can fall down. Bournemouth are going to go with this team today. Artur Boric starts in goal. Nathan Ake starts with Nathaniel Klein as the wide defenders, and he's pumped for an attacking lineup with two out and out attackers. Thank you, Selhurst Park. Enjoy the game. It's interesting at the corner of the ground where the most noise comes from, the fans are allowed to stand up which uh, is because the ground regulations say you have to be given a seat, you don't have to sit in it. The chairman himself told me that. Yeah, I think they've tried to use it. They've embraced the fanaticism, if you like, of those groups of supporters who uh, are just so passionate about Crystal Palace. And uh, it really just stir the team forward. James MacArthur anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Milivojevic. Now he's looking for support. Proper tackle that. The break is definitely on. And in it goes towards the far post. Cleared away by the defender. Penteke. Meyer, James MacArthur. Strong, fair challenge, balls out for a throw, though. Max Meyer. James MacArthur couldn't keep it. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. Milivojevic. Working hard just to see to take the lead. Goodness me, it's hit the post. That did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. James MacArthur. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. And here's the shot. Kept his concentration, the goalkeeper, and because of that, kept hold of the ball. Yeah, he seems to fill the goal, this lad. He's quite an imposing keeper. Fraser. Josh King, Gosling, Wilson, Brooks, played forward, a bit of menace in this attack, looking for teammates in the middle, defended well, Lema, here's a chance, that's a great finish for the first goal of the day. No doubt in his mind what he was going to do with it, and that was to really swing a leg at it first time, and it's planted in the bottom left. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Well, oh, look at the manager. He works hard on his team on the training ground, and he's seen some reward for it down there now.
So the first goal, it's 1-0. Goal for Bournemouth, number 13. Milivojevic. Martin Kelly. Andros Townsend. Room now out on the wing. Good defensive clearance there. Well, a bit of distance into the clearance, but they've lost possession. Gosling. Getting forward well as a team now. Now the possibility for a cross. Here's the chance. Corner. Ryan Fraser's corner. Great header, great save. Oh, nothing wrong with that, was that? I thought he was going to score with a header, but top keeping. Neatly intercepted. Chance from the pass. Oh, they thought they were in, but the flag has gone up. Milivojevic. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Cleared away, well away from goal. Nathaniel Klein. Dan Gosling. Brooks. Milivojevic. Can find some space here on the flanks. Whipped in from the wide area. To Brooks. Here's Wilson. Brooks. Well, the has gone up for two minutes. Trying to steer it through. In with a chance. The last line of defence, but how strong he was. Brooks. Dan Gosling. The attacking team have got a problem here because the opposition are just sitting in and saying, well, you can break us down if you can. They think perhaps they can't break them down. Trying to find a way through here, probing away. Well, he's got his fist to it. And that's dealt with the problem. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, I thought he looked lively in that first half. Really sharp and obviously got the goal. Another 45 of that and he'll be well pleased. So here we go with the second half. Gosling and King. Lema guided through. Needs to stay cool now. Got to keep his nerve here. It's a miss at a significant time. Will that come back to haunt him? They could have been pulling ahead. Yeah, you see it so often. But uh, they are still in charge of this match. James MacArthur. Meyer. Taking on the defenders. It's King. Now Wilson. Lema. Here's Wilson. Fraser. Change coming up to Crystal Palace. And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. Cleared away by the defender. Max Meyer. 
James McArthur. Patrick Gunnar. Excellent challenge. Gosling. And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go, and I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well. Gosling. Brooks. Wilson. The shot's on. Goal. The lead by two now. Got the chance nicely. And that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. Two for him on the day, and two very well-taken goals. Oh, they want to see this again, this goal. Well, it's great when a plan comes together, and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Milivojevic. James MacArthur. Benteke. Substitute coming up for the away team. Zaha. A chance to cut the deficit here. And he does it! A lifeline in this game, and there's still time for them to find an equaliser. Yeah, just a squeak of a chance for this team. They've got to believe. This could be a, a real turnaround here. They've given themselves a chance of at least catching up. Yeah, this goal, you know, I think it's changed the body language, the attitude of the whole team here, and I'm expecting a real comeback. Substitution for Crystal Palace, coming off the pitch, number 17, Crystal Benteke, to be replaced by... And we restart the game, 2-1. Goal for Crystal Palace! Dan number Gosling. Seven, Maximilian Meyer. Now Wilson. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. We've got the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now. Patrick van Arnholt. And there is some uh, backup for him in this position. Zaha. James MacArthur. And here's the shot. Now Kelly. Dan. Well, the crowd sensing that their side's running out of time here. They need something to happen soon. Well, there's a big support here for them. And those supporters want to see just a little bit more in the time that remains. Well, there's always pressure on you when you're playing in front of a big crowd, your own fans, and the players have shown a few nerves out there today. They've got to lose those. James MacArthur. Well, that would be a throw. Well, from the neutral perspective, you do love to see attacking players playing as well as they can, and uh, it keeps us on the edge of our seats, and he's certainly done that today. He's going to be taken off now. Yeah, and he's got himself a few goals this season, and as a result, he's playing with a great deal of confidence, and that's vital for any striker. Can they draw level here with five minutes left? James MacArthur. Well, then it goes. Well, they got it wide very well, the chance to get the cross in. And it's not turned out to be a very good delivery. I think the coach will be considering his options on the bench. Put the corner in the middle. 
Good defensive clearance there. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. Buyate. He's got it back again from his teammate. Buyate. Should really deliver from this position. The defender in the way. The fourth official has indicated three more minutes. Fraser. Lema. What a good interception. And that's it, last blast on the whistle from the referee. Very hard defeat, this one, to take, Alan. Well, I think so, because on another day, if his defenders were a little tighter, the manager would have seen his team victorious here. What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, he was certainly the man to watch for the opposition, but they could do nothing to tame him. Got himself a brace to contribute to this win.